Okay, guys, today I'm going to demo or show you some important information uh, if you're using a rapid change ADC. Uh, very safety features to don't mess up your material being cut. So it happened to me twice. I was cutting and suddenly on the second bit, tool change, the, it plunges all the way to the material, bro breaking the bits at the same time ruining the material and sometimes even plunging on my spoil board. I know the cause of it, I just stupid like keep forgetting the proper sequence of how to how we, we should be doing it. So the issue is every time we reboot the machine, it doesn't have the tool offset the, or the current tools is loaded. So what you normally do is you home your machine and then you go to your material, you do the probing on X, Y, Z, Z to zero out your work offset and you run your job. So first bit is working good. Then when it goes to this load the second bit, the second bit set, uh, do the tool offset. And then the moment it go to the job, it plunges all the way through to your material, even cutting your wasteboard sometimes or breaking your bits because it's not supposed to go there. The problem is we're missing the tool length offset on the first bit. So it doesn't know from where it came from because what suppose we need to do is when we do a homing, uh, once you tell what's the tool number is loaded, you perform, uh, you always perform a tool length on that current loaded tools before you do the work offset. Before the, before the, yeah, before doing the work offset. So let me show it to you. For example, uh, let me see if I can record my screen. Okay. For example, I'm gonna, so right see if it's red, I freshly boot my machine. Gonna hit the e-stop. And then, sorry, sorry, I need to connect to, and then unlock, home. Zooming now. And for example, I'm gonna jog to my XY or just gonna click my XY zone. Let's check what's our, okay, then we, supposed to be we did a, I'm just gonna do, Normal way you probably do a probing for your X and Y, but for this demo, I'm just gonna just manually do it. The Z is just the important part here. Oops, too much. We got, you don't need to go to precise, that's fine. So I'm gonna zero my Z. So all my arc work offset are all zero. Supposed to be that's my material height and X and Y. And then I'm gonna hit the observe also negative 33.80 for our machine coordinates and zero is for our, our work offset. So I'm gonna click play, it will cut, and then I'll just simulate it. We're gonna perform a tool change before. I'm just gonna double check what's current. Okay, matching, current tool is two. So your G code is supposed to be M6 Newton X uh, tool chain M61. Enter. So it's gonna change a bit. Okay, bits change. Assuming this is actual run job, it goes to, let's go to X, Y, zero. And look at that number, 158. That's a big number. If I click the Z, it will go all the way down. Let's, I'm just gonna do manual. Manual finding the, see here? We're still on 64 and it's already, it's already too low. It's already, there's still 38 to go. So if I, 
if this is the job, it will go 38 millimeter more deep. Actually, it's probably more because this is not really our, our Z before is like on the air in here. So that will cause a lot, this will cause damage to your bit and your material. So make sure every time you reboot, perform a two length. So let's do it the proper way. Let's power cycle. Power on, e stop, connect, unlock, and then home. Okay, this time we're gonna execute, uh, I already have a macro for measure tool. So, but this time we're, I can just say G65 P231. By the way, the firmware I'm using right now, the Gearball hardware version, it can, it can persist the pull number, even if I reboot it. You notice I did not, usually you tell after reboot in the old way without that firmware plugin update. I usually, aside from the tool length uh, upset that you need to do, you also need to tell what's the current tools loaded because the machine doesn't really recall when you power up what's the current tool loaded. So it, it will go back to zero. But my firmware I'm using can can persist that on reboot. So if see, I, I already perform a uh, perform a tool length. So the current tool says two, which is actually right. It's two. It's not zero. So now I'm gonna go to X to Y, and this time I'm. This is the time I'm supposed to zero out my my Z. Supposed to be that's my zero. Just, just a reference point, just above my one, two, three block. But well, that's fine. I'm gonna zero. And then you start your job running and then switch to a different tool, M61. See the number? It's 98. That's a good number now based on the kinematics of my CNC. That's supposed to be the right number. I can just simply click the Z. I trusted it. It will plunge on my material. Yep. Just barely on top of my one, two, three block. Yep. Perfect. So that's a reminder for you to do it. So I'm what I'm going to do, since I'm always forgetful, it happened to me twice. I'm going to modify my P200 to implement a safety features that every time I reboot the machine and do homing, usually execute all my settings. And I'm also going to automatically execute my, I'm going to add on my P200 here. P200 is always executed on the startup using the dollar number. Pretty sure if you read the documentation for rapid change that you already know that it's supposed to be. Okay, let's see. I don't need this dwelling. Okay, if tool offset is equal to zero, perform. Uh, okay, then let's save this. And then I'm gonna upload it to the SD card. Okay, updated. So now let's try. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna reboot the machine again. Controller. Okay. Hit the oh shit button. No, not that one. I don't wanna do remote here. 
connect, unlock, and then home. We'll see what happened. If this thing works, it should home and then it will automatically set, perform a tool length. There, it works. Okay, that works, then now we, it does the, I don't need to do it manually. It's perfect. And then if I do home again, let's see what will happen. Because it's a conditional statement that we only perform once if we haven't ever done a tool length setting. Perfect doesn't perform anymore because we already have that data. Okay, there you guys, there you go guys. Hopefully this helps.